eternally existing, kind umpire of men's miseries and fates, distant cousin of the grim reaper, he is the antic. Richard of Bordeaux, shall we bring him alive? Tell Bolingbroke, for yond me thinks he stands, that every stride he makes upon my land is dangerous treason. Rash, hot-headed actions and his wantonness would be his downfall. Alack, poor Richard. Fragment, pigeon egg, death token, don't let me blush. Oh Richard, do we care about your petty little life? Bolingbroke would make a far better king. Oh no he wouldn't. Oh yes he would. Let's not start that. Look how long is this going to take? I've got to get back to my wife and hanging peasants. How romantic. You some sort of fool. I've had enough of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't move. Hello, you out there. I can't move. Did you hear me? Let me go at once. Let me go at once. <clears throat> I'll have you hanged at Tyburn for this. Hang so much that your eyes will pop out of your sockets. I'll have you killed. Over and over and over and over and over and over and... Over again. Or worse still, I'll make you pose with Tiny. He loves a selfie. Aren't you a bit ahead of yourself? And your head will be on a spike. London Bridge is pining for more pain this week. Enough of this prattle! Clot pole. The pain's on me. You will not move from this spot until I have reveled in and revealed the best bits of your downfall. He's a witch. Burn him. Oh, God. I wish I hadn't brought him to life now. I'm incontinent with rage. What a load of verbal diarrhoea. I charge thee. Who are you? I am the Bishop of Carlisle. Mm, Carlisle. I never summoned you. Get back to your play. I wish to speak in King Richard's defence. He is a man of honour and will prevent the calamity that will befall this England, this blessed plot. That was John of Gaunt's speech. Anyway. Henry Bolingbroke, Henry Hereford, whatever you like to call him, will soon be king. You deranged Fustilarian. My lord of Hereford, whom you call king, is a foul traitor. And if you crown him, let me prophesy. The blood of English shall manure the ground, and future ages groan for this foul act. Disorder, horror, fear and mutiny shall here inhabit, and this land be called the field of Golgotha and dead men's skulls. Prevent it. Resist it. Let it not be so. Blessed child, child's children cry against you woe. 
Hello? Hello? Drat is gone. That was my best speech. Thank God for that. Richard. Richard. Now, Richard, where did we leave you? Ah, yes. You were venting your spleen against Henry Bolingbroke. Did it get you anywhere? Come and meet your worst fear. Your replacement. Henry the Fourth to be. Oh God. Oh God. That ear this tongue of mine that laid the sentence of dread banishment upon yon proud man. I should take it off again. With words of sooth. Oh, that I were as great as is my grief, or lesser than my name. Or that I could forget what I've been, or not remember what I must be now. <laughs> Swell'st thou proud heart. I'll give thee scope to beat, since foes have scope to beat both thee and me. What must the king do now? Must he submit? The king shall do it. Must he be deposed? The king shall be contented. Must he lose the name of king? Oh, in God's name, let it go. I'll give my jewels for a set of beads. My gorgeous palace for a hermitage. My gay apparel <laughs> for an almsman's gown. My figured goblets for a dish of wood. My sceptre for a palmer's walking staff. My large kingdom for a little grave. A little, little grave. <laughs> An obscure grave. Or I'll be buried somewhere in the King's Highway. Some way of common trade where subjects' feet may hourly trample upon their sovereign's head. From my heart they tread now whilst I live. <laughs> I'm buried once, why not upon my head? Well, I enjoyed that. Richard, where have you been? Behold, the new man.